Um, Sam Pepper, we hate you. But she tells the story of meeting Sam Pepper, going to his house, and being anally raped. I'm not making this. Let's see how he reacts to his best friend of five years being killed in front of him. Every year we see YouTubers rise to the top, and sometimes we see YouTubers fall to the bottom. It's just a part of the YouTube game. One of those people just so is happened to be for Sam Pepper. What is this? Network? You have probably you seen one of. How did you get your name, of... by the way? Uh, yeah. If you provide good content, then sure. Um, how did you get your name, by the way? Runescape generated, auto-generated name. His outrageous pranks on the web, like the one where he killed his best friend. Or maybe the one where he pinched Did girls' Andy bums with his secret hand. Hello guys, I'm Sam Pepper. No, dude, I don't want to put Sam on stream. People said he doesn't want on fucking. He doesn't want to be on stream. I'm not gonna put him on stream. Today I'm gonna be pinching girls' bums with my secret hand. <laughs> not a fan of his wacky pranks? Well, Sam's got you covered. Sam is also a platinum honest, recording artist. His most Brandon famous song is SSJ for assault. He def had his hit to get some cash. Brandon definitely could have sued Scuff Steve Jobs, uh, 100%, but... Ozzy Andy is a typical TDD Reddit soy boy. Says he hates Sam but gives no valid reason. Sam is good. Okay, I mean, Single. I think so too. Ask Tom Cruise. Brandon could have definitely sued Scuff Steve Jobs for assault, uh, but... Brandon will do fine. I'm sure Scuff Steve Jobs would find something to counter sue him with, so whatever. Cruise. I'm so awesome, I get first dibs on discount and damaged goods in the supermarket. Mm, inspired me. me. Wow, that song is a bang. Let me you. run that back one more time nice for the you. Pepper Boys. I'm so awesome, I get first dibs on discount and damaged goods I'm in the supermarket. Mm, inspired me. Now let's cut to the chase. You guys are all here to find out what happened to our precious Pepper and I am going to tell you just that. After reaching peak beta performance, Sam's career took a dive. In early 2016, Sam Pepper was diagnosed with sexaholic syndrome, a rare disease only diagnosed to beta males. This rare condition no. led to many women online accusing Sam of horrible things. Sam Pepper was overwhelmed with all the allegations and had a lot of pent-up anger, so one day he was ready to let it all out. He called up a buddy of his to film an epic prank. This prank involved him killing his best friend. Once his friend was dead and his body was disposed, Sam Pepper immediately went into hiding. Sources close to Sam say that he lived with a mysterious man named James Warland. No! That was the last anyone has heard from Sam Pepper in years. No! Now you're probably wondering what Mr. Garden, Pepper no. is up to now here in 2018. Well let's just say he's attempting to make an amazing comeback. Once all the heat died down, Sam Pepper decided to leave his secret soulmate James Worley behind and went back out into the world. <laughs> One of the first people he encountered after being cooped up with James Worley for a few years was YouTube live streamer, Ding Ding. Yo Ice, if you Sam visit Pepper Germany, was interested I will in Ding Ding and Ami Keep up this beautiful immediately thought he could replace CX, James CX, Worley CX. with him, so they started to chat about YouTube. No, what the fuck? no! He meant the K no, that's not the real KFC guy. Sam realized Ding Ding's fan base was 12 years old and knew instantly he could easily take advantage well, of them true. due to his past experiences. 25 actually. Sam and Ding Ding began hanging out and streaming together on Ding Ding's channel. Late one night, Ding Ding's grandma came over and gave Sam a brand new S8 to stream on. Papa Pepper was ecstatic about this and began I streaming as soon as content. Love you, dude. It's possible. Hey, thank you, Murphy. I appreciate that, man. Thank Every you, morning at exactly 8 a.m. sharp, Sam Pepper would show up at Ding Ding's house and point his new S8 w directly at Ding Ding's this. face to earn a stable income. I don't even know. This was dude. good for a few days, but after a while, Ding Ding started to get mad. Ding Ding was fed up with Sam pointing the S8 in his face and immediately started to take action. Ding Ding knew he had to eliminate Papa Pepper along with the Pepper Army, but he didn't know how. That's when Ding Ding came up with a genius idea. An idea only a man with a 500 IQ could come up with. His plan was to call up the only person he knew that could take down Sam Pepper, and that was EBZ. No! No, EBZ dude, I didn't is do what that. you would call a gangster. He was raised by the streets and is a known shooter. I didn't do that. 
I did not Later hire that ABC. day, Ding Ding put a tracking device on Sam Pepper and sent Sam to the store. No, I didn't. While Sam was on the way to the store, Ding Ding called EBZ and told him Sam's location. EBZ Wait, pulled up on Sam and smacked Brandon the TTS right out of him. Ding Ding was, was sure that he would RV. never hear of Papa Pepper again, but he was wrong. Although Sam Pepper was rumored to be back with his soulmate, James Worley, investigators revealed that Sam Pepper has blueprints to sneak into Ding Ding's suitcase so he can be a part of the streamer house in Tampa. That is the last information I received about Sam Pepper. Authorities have no idea where Sam is. For all we know Sam could already be in Tampa, claiming the master bedroom in the streamer house. No, he, he's in the living room actually. Ding Ding if you're watching this, stay safe. Sam's TTS could be anywhere. Brandon doesn't even have a Discord. You're a hypocrite. Sam's Discord. Curly has bracket been opening. Reddit curly forever. bracket closing. Curly bracket opening. Well, I ban all motherfucking posts that are from Brigaders, and I can tell who's from Brigading or not. When I see these like fucking pepper posts, I delete those too. Um, leak the DMs where you tell Brandon he can just pay twenty percent of the portion he's actually on the RV. I don't fucking know, dude. I have to go up in the fucking DMs, dude. Like, it was definitely said, though. Or I definitely said it on stream or something, dude. Let me see. Fucking blah, blah, blah. The thing is, Sam used you as a come up from his dad's channel. He never saw you as a friend, Lou. No, it's not in the DMs, but I said it on stream multiple fucking times, so it doesn't even matter at this point, dude. I don't really care about the 500. It's fucking Very first stock, Sam widened the RV in the seatbelt. Got wet and scratched the floor. He didn't tell you.